Ichiban was behind all this? Really? Tendo? Huh? Hey. Why the fuck weren't you picking up your phone? As you can see, I was a little busy. Where's a recording? I want this over and done with. There is no recording. It was a bluff. A bluff. I see. So it was just a bluff. <laughs> I knew it would be. Hmm. <laughs> so, we done here or not? No. Not yet. We know he must still have accomplices out there somewhere. At the very least, someone who ran that ticker at the same time as the votes were being counted. And we know someone must have been hiding him after the explosion in Ijincho. I refuse to tolerate any chance of another close shave like this. So, what's your call here? Hunt them all down. Kill them. Make sure the bodies are never found. Do whatever it takes. I don't want even the slightest chance of any of them getting back up and crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. Well, how'd you like my performance? I could have won an award for that one, Kasuga. Right. Maybe I should go do some auditions. <laughs> so, what'd you think? Ichiba, how, how... How did you... Young master, you know me. I hate dying. <laughs> Tendo! Should've checked your blind spot, Aoki-sensei. You hired me. And then you made the mistake of treating me like I was some kind of disposable peon. Huh? What do you mean? What are you talking about? There are two Tendos. I'm impressed. Mirror Face really is the perfect name for you, man. Mirror Face? That's what they call me. I can make myself look like anybody I want to. <sighs> wow. This is gonna make one hell of a headline. Tokyo Governor orders Yakuza to murder political rival Ichiban Kasuga and his supporters. Scoop of the year. I got the whole thing on video. Should I go ahead and post it online? Where at? No! Stop Enough. it! Enough! This is as far as you go, young master. It's time. Ichiban! Did you... Really plan all this? Your dumbass? I was bluffing when I told you about the tape recording. That was just to lure out Tendo. But I've known you for years. I was pretty sure you wouldn't be satisfied. Not until you saw the results for yourself. You think you can predict what I'm going to do next. But in the end, I know you better than you know me. You shut your damn mouth. Young master, I had to do this. It was the only way I could stop you. It's sad, and I know it hurts, but I don't think you even know how to stop yourself. What? You only became the governor and a person of influence so that you could get back at an old girlfriend and the police commissioner. But what did you really even get out of that? 
Now you've pushed everyone who was important to you away. You were blinded by having more power than you knew what to do with. What happened to you? You don't even realize what you've lost. You really thought the only solution was to keep killing anyone who threatened your power in even the smallest way? How could you be that stupid? Why the fuck would you want that kind of life? <sighs> you don't know shit about me. But I'm right, aren't I? Just admit it. Even if you are, I just need to keep moving forward. And after tonight, no one can stop me. No. I'll stop you. No matter what. Men! Kill them all! Leave no one alive! Make sure they're dead. Got that? Bodyguards have him completely protected. Yeah, can't hit him while he's got that kind of meat shield. We just have to do this the old fashioned way pick him off one by one. Sure.
Let's get nutty! Is he trying to call for help? Well, he is the governor. I wonder who'll swoop in to save him. I don't know, but I hope he doesn't have any tanks or anything. <laughs> Let him call whoever he wants. Makes no difference to me. Let's go. Eyes on me. Hey! It's go time. 
Ready? Get a load of this! in a world of hurt. Eyes will be good. This one's my special. Get ready, buddy. I can't say that I am, really. If only I could move like I did 20 years back. My body doesn't always do what I want anymore. Shh, 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 no, let's not look at things like that. Hang in there, everyone. I know it hurts, but... Forget about that. Listen, Ichiban, you have to go catch up with Aoki. Huh? Aoki's by himself right now. This is your chance to give him what he deserves. Go on, Ichiban. Don't worry, we can handle ourselves. But what if... Do you really think so little of us? Yeah, we're not that weak. Believe it or not, we actually can survive without you. Thought we might have proved that by now. You guys... Go settle this, Ichiban. Show him how everything he's put you through has only made you stronger. Yeah, I like that. I'll settle it once and for all. 
You're all the best friends I've ever had. Thanks, guys! You think you can defeat me? Unarmed? One on one? Still so cocky! <laughs> now we're talking. I'll wipe that stupid grin off your face and leave it bloody on the floor.
on the right path. I can use my power. I've seen the light. And then... And then... And then what? What's that have to do with anything? And then I can... make Japan so much more beautiful. I could. I could do that. That's... That's what the masses want. They want... peace and prosperity. And I can give it to them. But the reality is, you just do whatever you want and make other people clean up after you. What? No matter who you claim to be now, if anyone disagrees with you, even a little, you toss them aside like they mean nothing. I already know you're just gonna keep using the state of Japan as an excuse to kill the people around you, just like you did with your father. If I hadn't done anything, you would have killed Captain Sawashiro, even after he served you for more than 20 years. There are two types of people in this world. Those who use, and those who get used. In other words, people who can make a difference, and people who are just tools in their hands. Like your father. He was just one of many tools, useful while it lasted. I didn't need him anymore. So what you're saying is that it's fine for certain people to be sacrificed once they've outgrown their use to you? <laughs> Are you finally getting the picture? Like hell I am! You and me were like light and shadow, born on the same day. You're the light. Harakawa's heir and legitimate son, who was always given everything I ever wanted. You had all of that from birth. What the hell happened? What changed you? Why'd you turn out like this? This is the police! Nobody move a muscle! Kasuga, these aren't just beat cops. They probably report directly to the commissioner. Sir, what's going on here? Why don't you start over from scratch? Come on. That's exactly what you need to do. I know you can crawl back up if you just put in the work. I believe in you. I swear I'll stand by your side the whole time. Just like the old days, for as long as it takes, we can do it together. It'd be an honor. You know something? Back when I first joined the family, I promised Arakawa-san that I'd always be there to support you.
As you already know, Tendo tried to use a bomb to kill us back in Ijin Show. He did all that under the orders of Ryo Aoki. We have video evidence of Valky's reaction when he found out we were still alive. See for yourself. We know he must still have accomplices out there somewhere. At the very least, someone who ran that ticker at the same time as the votes were being counted. And we know someone must have been hiding him after the explosion in Ijinjo. I refuse to tolerate any chance of another close shave like this. So, what's your call here? Hunt them all down. Kill them. Make sure the bodies are never found. Do whatever it takes. I don't want even the slightest chance of any of them getting back up and crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. This video is already making its rounds on the internet. The Citizens' Liberal Party must have more enemies than they think they do, because it's going viral even as we speak. I think it's fair to say we'll need to consult with the Commissioner on this one. Things aren't looking good for you, Mr. Governor. We'll need to take you into custody. Why don't you come with us to the precinct? You master! Stay back! Take one step, and I blow his fucking brains out! Your master! Don't do this! You want me to give up everything I've built because of some stupid thing Arakawa told you 20 years ago? All this patriarch and old bullshit. I've always hated how you Yakuza act like you're one big happy family. You go on about duty and honor and I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it! Put the gun down, young master, please. If you take a police officer hostage, they're going to kill you, no matter who you are. I... I don't want to see any more of my family die. Family? <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm not your fucking family. No matter what you say, I'll always consider you part of my family. You were the first friend I ever had in my whole life. I wish I could have stopped you. I should have stopped you from losing control. But I didn't. And now we've both lost Arakawa-san forever. So please, don't do this. I couldn't take losing you too. You can still come back. I'm begging you. You just like him. <gasps> Every single damn thing that comes out of your mouth just reminds me of my fucking father. Which is exactly why I never liked you in the first place. <laughs> Whatever it is.
it takes. I don't want even the slightest chance of any of them getting back up and crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. I told you. I've known you for 20 odd years. I figured you'd come here. Call it a hunch. I thought maybe some of my words managed to get through to you. Maybe you actually did decide to start over from the bottom and work your way back up. I figured if you did, You'd come back to where Arakawa-san first found you. Where our stories began. You don't have any idea what I'm going through. I'm tired of your city, Tiban. All we're doing here is having a conversation. So come on. The gun's really not necessary. Why don't you stop pointing that thing and give it to me? who broke my heart and betrayed me on that New Year's Eve 18 years ago. That night changed our lives forever. Oh. She ended up marrying Horinuchi, you know? Before I became governor, I attended a celebration of his appointment to police commissioner. She was there. She didn't recognize me. Everything about me was so different. Do you know what she said to me? You won't believe it. Oh my, you're so sophisticated and intelligent for a man your age. Crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking incredible. That damn woman. She was so scared of me. And she calls me a gentleman? What kind of bullshit is that? I swear you couldn't make this shit up! Hilarious, don't you think? That's okay. In the end, that's all it amounted to. The power I changed my name for, changed my body for, the power I chased with such blind passion, I killed for it. I started off in life with a weak, ugly body that embarrassed me. I worked hard to improve myself. But after all that, I still wasn't happy because no one appreciated who I really was on the inside. 
That's not true, young master. The boss, I mean, Arakawa-san and Captain Sawashiro both cared about you. They always put you first in everything they did. Same for me. After I got out of prison, the first time I saw you was in a picture. I knew it was you right away. There was no mistaking it. I'd recognize your face anywhere. Because I care about you too. <laughs> Are you lecturing me again about how important family is? No! It's not a lecture! Did you ever stop to think why Arakawa-san, Captain Sawashiro, and I never gave up on you? No matter how much bad shit you dragged us into! Let me tell you... It wasn't easy! But we did it anyway, because we're all connected, deep inside our hearts! You see things in black and white, but family's not that simple! No one appreciated you for who you are? Bullshit! We were always there for you! We would have done anything for you, gone to hell and back! All you had to do was ask! When will you believe me when I say the three of us loved you? Or are you just gonna keep pointing that gun on your head like a dumbass? Ichi... This may not be what you want to hear, but you know... I consider you my brother, man. That means something to me. Don't make me watch my brother die. Please. I can't do it. Asato. I'm begging you. Yes, Aoki-san. I put my faith in you. I believed your words. I thought you would lead us down a noble path, bleached pure and clean. <laughs> but it's not too late. True righteousness will triumph. Yeah. <sighs> 